Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining to this episode. Today we have something different. It's been a while since we didn't have anything from Nike, so this is the time. As you probably know by now, we're gonna start with the unboxing. You can pause the video where you need. You can see here some of my sizes. We can see here both of them and as always we're gonna start with the left foot because I'm curious to know if they are consistent in quality. The first impression with them, I like them a bit more than I thought I will. This pair is a bit more cheaper than Nike Invincible Zoom X and I thought maybe the quality it won't be that great you know and as my surprise these ones they are even better in quality than those in my opinion. The upper it's a different material and it doesn't feel plasticky not as much as those from uh, Invincible. I can't explain very well why but these ones feel better for some reason it's like very thin uh, mesh of nylon and uh, in interior we can find another layer second layer and I thought it won't be the second layer so it's not as thin as you might think We can see here the sole. I wish it was just one piece of rubber from front to heel, but unfortunately we have this exposed foam. Here we can see the insole, very simple material, uh, low density foam, nothing special. It has a bit of arch, but not very much. We can see here this label, normally in Adidas we can find it inside of the sneaker, here it is on this uh, insole. This is how it looks the interior, the footbed it has a thin layer of textile material which doesn't feel too rigid, I like it this one actually. Please notice inside this kind of collar that they have around the ankle, I find it very comfy actually, I thought I won't like it and I didn't have any issues with that one. Visually these pads look big but once you have your feet inside you won't even remember that they are there. Aesthetically, these sneakers, if you didn't see them before, when you are seeing them on internet, you might think they are bulky, but once you get them in your hand, that's completely different uh, story. Now I think they look neat, actually. In this shot, we have the right foot. I'm looking for defects, any problems with them, and honestly, they are flawlessly made. I think even better than Adidas Ultra Boost, for example. Here I'm trying to figure how is this midsole? Is it soft? Is it rigid? How it is? And I was thinking, in comparison with Ultra Boost, well, it's very similar with Ultra Boost 22. It's not soft. But then I tried them, and the cushioning is, well, it's better. It's good actually, and I didn't know why. And the key is the carbon plates. I never thought that those can make such a big difference, even though the missile is same as Sphere. I even was a bit disappointed in comparison with Zoomax before trying them on my feet. We've seen both of these insoles.
as you can tell these sneakers they didn't came with the exterior uh, labels like others come they don't have any issues with the stitching or the gluing or any other kinds Here I decided to show you how is the footprint on these sneakers to get you an idea more or less. I will do this in all the videos in the future because it's a bit more easier to make yourself an idea how wide and large they are or bulky if you want. I wish that the heel it was a bit more wider. You can see here the size of these laces. The elasticity on them is okay, didn't have any issues, I like it. And here we have a small detail on this uh, pin. Here we can see a bit better this upper. Uh, there are two kinds, if you see. The one from the instep and around the collar is more elastic and is thinner than Prime Knit Plus for example from Ultra Boost 22. I like this one a bit better because it's much more elastic and more breathable. So this one was a nice surprise for me. I didn't know what to expect from them. And the other material is this kind of mesh like a nylon which I thought it would be only this one but inside it, it does have another layer so there are two layers. I think that the upper was a very good choice on this particular sneaker model. I wouldn't change anything to be honest. It's good the way it is. I feel that Adidas with Ultra Boost 22 it should take some notes here. And now we have the weight test. Yeah, as you can tell, they are very lightweight, 100 grams less than Adidas World Travels 22, for example. I keep comparing them with those because I think that my public is more familiar with that model than others. But in this case, these ones should have been compared with Takumi Sen, for example, because they are very lightweight. The only problem is the price difference. Those are more expensive in comparison with these ones. Other thing that took my attention is that normally in all the sneakers that I tried, it is a small difference in between the left and right in weight. But these ones, they are like twins. They are almost identical. So that's a nice surprise. That really shows how good is the construction on them. Very precise. Here I'm trying to show you how they are the insoles and my feet, the arch, the instep and how much I have free space on that toe box. Using the rule of thumb is very good way to see if it's the right uh, size for your feet or not. Normally it's better if you do it after 8 o'clock in the evening, you know, and maybe with the socks that you are planning to use for this kind of sneakers. Obviously in between left and right is not a huge difference, but it's better to check both of them. And finally we have the first unfish shots with them from an upper angle.
having them on my feet for the first time i have to say that i was surprised it because i was expecting i don't know not to be great in my feet being more rigid foam but it was quite unusual the sensation i had plenty of comfort from the first second so maybe this cushioning is not the best i've seen so far it's not the kind of like i've seen in new balance or uh, in adidas adios pro it's not that kind but it's still very good and much better than the one i've seen in in ultra boost 22 so by knowing how is the foam checking it with my thumb i was expecting to not be very happy with them on my feet and i couldn't understand why i like them this much but is because of that carbon plate that one is making a huge difference in this case Moving around with them on my feet, I just realized that I can recommend these sneakers to almost everyone, if not everyone. They have a good price, first of all. They have good cushioning, not the best maybe. I don't want to be too pickier, you know, but this one is not too bad. Lightweight, good construction, the best I've seen, maybe. I mean, this one is a <laughs> really good value for money. Here I realized that actually I don't have those problems that I have with uh, Ultraboost 22 because those are uh, giving me a pressure point over my instep because of that uh, prime knit which is not elastic enough and here I don't have that issue so I realized that here on the heels that is the only complaint maybe I have with them here depends of everyone pronation this can be important or not as much important you know in my case i i can't say i like it very much this thing you know to go inward but depends of everyone you will have to check them yourself and see how is your case because we have different feet so what it works for me it might not work for you so that's why you have to try yourself but overall the first impression with them very good sneakers As you can tell, here we have on-fit shots from a lower angle. This way you can see better the kind of cushioning that they have, how I walk with them. You can see the way I walk, the pronation that I have. You can compare it with yourself if you want. In comparison with Invincible Zoom X, I think I like those because of the cushioning a bit better. But for uh, the bounce back, for uh, the silhouette that they have these ones, I still like them and I still think they are worth the price, you know. What I wish in the future to see change it on them, maybe the heel to be a bit more wider. That way you will have more uh, confidence with them and maybe just a bit more cushioning, just a bit more. But otherwise I like them the way they are.
so pros and cons for pros i like the colorway in this case they have three or four more maybe more than that here in spain we don't have too much maybe in united states they have more i'm not really sure i like the price could be less of course but still not too bad the silhouette the shape that they have they look very neat they are lightweight i like the upper very good choice there i like the laces for cons well i wish they were having a bit more cushioning just a bit more not too much just a bit and the heel to be more wider or the left side with the right side to be the same cushioning because i feel that on the interior are a bit more firm and on the exterior they are soft so that's why i don't like it very much that heel if they were the same no matter if they are firm or soft you won't have that jiggle around you know and this will be it for the cons as a final thoughts i think they are a good buy overall because i like the construction and how they feel the comfort is supreme i love it As you can tell, they are a bit reflective. I will end here this episode. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, see you next time. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe because it's very important to me. And please stay safe.